TikTok's ad avatars. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Calabucas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep, deep, deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking AI startups, the future, not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. It's show number 968. And yes, folks, this is the week that 10XU launches, 10XU.us, my long-awaited magnum opus on mastering your life with AI, launches on Friday. Check it out, 10XU.us. So on our sister publication, AI Daily, which I'm quoting a lot because that's where I go for my AI news. And I know you guys want to hear about AI and you think AI is cool. Of course, there's plenty of you out there who are AI doomers and think AI is going to destroy the world. And if you realize what AI is, then maybe not so much. But TikTok, that's right, folks, TikTok, the video streaming, video creation, video service, because it's very, very video oriented, is now testing AI avatars. Now, if you listen to Monday's show, show number 965, when I was talking about Gen Z wanting to become influencers, how almost, almost half of Gen Z wants to become influencers, wants to become influencers. Now, TikTok, what's TikTok doing? TikTok is actually experimenting with creating AI ads. And you're probably wondering to yourself, what do you mean by AI ads? So you've probably, if you're familiar with any of the things that are going on in the AI space, you've probably heard about Sora and a few other companies that are creating videos, full videos. I'm not saying, when I say full videos, I mean like full 30 second videos. Full 30 second videos from a prompt. That's right, folks, a prompt. So just like you would enter a text prompt in Dali or any of these other AI services, and it would give you an image, you would enter a text prompt and it could create a 30 second video. And if you've been on, on any of these forums, you've probably seen some of the videos that Sora has created and they're pretty impressive, pretty impressive from a single prompt. So, what TikTok is doing, and of course TikTok, TikTok is very visual medium, right? They are vertical videos that you scroll past super quickly. And to advertise in that medium, you need to create a video ad. I mean, you can create non-video ads, but they're, they're kind of jarring, right? Because you expect a video ad in that environment. And the worst thing you can do is jar your potential customers. You want them to be in the flow. You want them to watch a TikTok video, then they want you, you, they want, you want them to watch your video, and then you want them to watch another TikTok video, then you, maybe you want them to watch your video again, or somewhere in the streams. You want to get your message out there, and you don't want to jar your customers. You want to create a similar video to the kinds of TikTok videos that are being created. So this is what TikTok is doing. Using that same type of technology, the text to a text to video technology which is also coming out in another product called Google Vids by the way which is going to be part of the uh, the Google the G Suite product an advertiser can actually enter a phrase and it will create an ad video perfectly designed for TikTok and put that product into the stream so you're going to get as an advertiser, if you are a TikTok advertiser, you will be able to get ads right in the stream that look just like TikTok videos, but they're created by AI. Now you have to think to yourself, well, what kind of videos will be created in this medium? And nine times out of 10, I can, I can tell you that it's probably going to be an AI style influencer video where somebody is going like this, like they do in all these videos. Oh, uh, let me tell you about this thing. It's totally amazing. Can you believe this? Like the most boring thing. But if somebody's flailing their arms around and screaming, then that's what ends up showing up. The flailing around and the screaming. And that's the perfect thing that grabs people in the thumbnail too on YouTube, isn't it? But I digress. So the point I'm trying to make is that these AI 
advertisers. These AI videos that are going to be created by the advertisers are probably going to mimic the AI influencer videos. Or maybe they won't. Maybe they will be totally different because if you think about it, they're, 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 they're holding a product. It's entirely possible that these AI advertiser videos are going to be created by, the, by TikTok, by TikTok's advertisers, are going to look exactly like a human avatar, a human being promoting a product. So if you think about it, what's going to happen to human influencers? What's going to happen to the work of human influencers? So if half of, almost half of Gen Z wants to be an influencer, what's going to happen when AI influencers start taking over? Even that venue will not be available to Gen Z. So what do we do in those kind of cases? We have to try and figure out something that AI can't depict, but AI can depict everything. So what is the solution? That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.